What's up guys, it's Brandon. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been going through some shit, but um, I'm back. Um, there's no uh, really new updates I can come at with you guys. Um, still got the stretch suits and everything. Um, I don't know, I'm just making this video because I am going to attempt something. Let me turn this down. Um, I am going, I've been learning a lot of shit about survival, like out in the wild and stuff. Like, I mean, I've always been a man versus wild fan, man versus wild fan, you know, like bear girls and all that, but, um, I've always been interested in stuff like that. I'm, I'm interested in a lot of shit, actually. I mean, there's, I've got tons of different hobbies and shit that I like, and I, I can even, I can probably rant, rant on with a list for like an hour of shit that's fun, you know, interesting to me or shit I would like to do. Anyway, I'm going to see how I'm going to try to survive in the woods for. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Um, I'm gonna try to survive in the woods woods for like three or four days. Um, I'm not gonna be like fucking. I'm not gonna like repel from a helicopter. You know, be dropped in the wilderness or anything. I mean, if shit goes wrong, I could, I'm gonna be able to walk like a mile back to my house. I mean, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But I'm gonna try my best to. Um, stay in the woods for at least three or four days and I'm not using a tent I'm going to make my own shelter I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna use like a tarp or something like I'm not gonna like try to uh, fucking take bark off of trees and shit and, you know like no um, I'm not that skilled yet but uh I, I have a, a survival knife I mean it's more of a camping knife I'll show you I mean I've had it for like five years um, it's a buck 119 I would I guess you could call it a camping knife. I mean, it's not really a survival knife, but it'll work fine. Um, it's not full tang. I think it's, I think the pin's somewhere in there, but, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty damn sharp. I mean, I, I, I tried some stuff with it, like batoning, which if you don't know what that is, you take like a log, you put this on there, you take another log, like a smart stick and hit it and try to chop through the log. It does that pretty well. Um, I need to sharpen it. Um, I've, like, never sharpened this knife. I've never even really used this knife, except for, like, the last two weeks I've been trying shit with it. Um, I like it. I mean, I actually went to this sporting goods store by my, uh, not real close to my house, but it's probably 10, 15, uh, probably 15 minutes away. Um, I was looking for survival knives, um, because I was looking them up on the internet, like, ow. Okay, yeah, that's why you don't play with knives. Um, I was looking up, looking for different knives because I wanted to try this, and, um, I was listening to this, um, I wanted to try this, and I, and I didn't, I wasn't sure, like, if this knife would work, so that's when, that's when I started, um, trying shit with it to see how durable it is, and I gotta say, it's, it's pretty damn durable, I mean, it's a buck knife, so it's made in the U.S., um, I had another buck knife that I got at an NRA convention, but, um, the tip broke off of it, um, it's around here somewhere, I, I don't, I mean, I don't really know where it is, though, but, um, anyway, what I was saying at the store, I, I was there for, like, 30 minutes looking at the, the knives, they had, like, one, probably about a five-foot-long display case with knives in it, they didn't have shit, they had, like, hardly any knives, they had, pot, like, tons of pocket knives, but I don't need a pocket knife, I need a survival knife, um, I'm gonna buy, I'm not doing this, I'll probably do this, I'll go on, um, Saturday or Sunday and, like, try to come back Wednesday or something, but, um, I mean, I gotta go and buy me a, a, a bag, like, a survival bag, so I can pack shit in, um, um, I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna bring food, I'm not gonna bring, like, you know, I'm gonna build a camp, like, a fire, campfire little thing, and then I'm gonna, like, cook, like, like hot dogs and shit and I'm gonna bring plenty of water um if I run out of water I'll just go to the we have a, there's a creek and then I'll I'll boil it and uh purify it that way it's safe to drink because you don't want to drink water that's in like a standing pool or anything like that because that shit has tons of parasites in it and that, that's just bad news um I did quite a bit of research on this shit um uh I don't know, I just, lately, 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 I've been wanting to try something new, and I thought, hey, why not try to survive in the woods for, like, three days, um, it'll be fun, um, we don't really have any, 
really dangerous predators. I mean, we got coyotes, but I'm not really worried about that because I mean they're they're more scared of you than you are of them. So and it, and if, if one comes up on you, you just gotta stand your ground and because they can sense fear and shit. And I am kind of scared of dogs, so I'll, I'll say that, I am kind of scared of dogs, and the coyotes, and not the canine family, so, I mean, it would freak me out, but I would stand my ground, and if it attacked me, I got a knife. But, anyway, um, for pegs, like tent pegs, to, like, I'm, I'm gonna bring paracord, tie it between two trees, and, and take sticks, and I'm gonna carve little notches in the sticks and make points at the end to, uh, use as tent pegs. Um, I'm trying to do this somewhat... I don't want to make this, like, too easy, you know, like, where it's just, like, simple and, like, you know, I, I don't know, I want, I want to have some, somewhat of a challenge, um, and, I mean, just being in the woods for three days straight is going to be a challenge, I mean, I, I mean, I've been through, we've got probably a couple miles of woods, um, where we live, and I've been literally through pretty much every inch of the woods, so, I mean, I know my, I used to go in the woods all the time, like, and just like look for shit. I had uh, four wheeler trails at one time, um, some like mid, like tiny ramps and stuff. But anyway, I've been through like every inch of my woods, um, so I can pretty much navigate. And but I don't know. I think I think it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you guys might think this is fucking crazy. I'm out of my mind. But I've always been interested in like survival and like. I mean, it would be cool to say, like, I, I went in the woods for, like, a, a substantial amount of time and lived off the land. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, killing wild animals and fucking cooking them and shit. Um, because I don't know how to properly do that. Um, you know, so I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to try to bring enough food. Like, I'm going to bring ramen noodles and, um, like, sausage and shit like that. So it's... You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring plenty of stuff, um, I did learn some things about plants. There's a fucking plane, it's either a helicopter or a plane, outside my window, like, flying by. Um, anyway, sorry, that was random. So yeah, I'm going to, uh, what was I saying? My memory is, like, shot, I don't know why, I'm only 23 years old, my memory is fucking shot. Okay, well, anyway, um... I, just, I think it would be cool to be able to say that I, I was in the woods for, like, a substantial amount of time and, you know, didn't lose my mind. Because, I mean, like, during the day, like, I don't know, like, really what I'm going to do with myself. I mean, I'm actually going to bring my camera along with me and I'm going, an actual camera, not my phone. I'm bringing my phone, but, you know, so, so I can play poker and shit, like, to keep myself occupied when I'm not, like, looking for shit and exploring. I mean, it's not really exploring because I've been through the woods so many times. But, uh, anyway, I, I, other than that, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I am going to document some of it, um, so that'll be cool, I can post that on YouTube, um, but, I mean, I wish there was, like, a, like, a lake or a pond or something around so I could, like, catch fish, because I do know how to, you know, scale fish and fillet fish, I do know how to do that shit, my, I had a friend named Jared, he taught me how to do that shit, um, I don't have a fly knife though. I mean, I guess you could it would, you could use this, but I, I just I think it'll be fun. I know this is completely random, and you guys are gonna think like, what the fuck? But I don't know. I've always been interested in survival, and I want to see how if I can last for like three days in the woods. You know, with literally just what I brought with me. Um, once you get to a certain point in my woods, you lose cell phone service. So like, um, I'm gonna, I am gonna bring, I'm gonna, with the survival bag that I'm buying, I'm gonna pack like a first aid kit. I mean, I, I do have a basic knowledge of first aid. Um, I, I've learned of some different plants that have minor healing, um, effects, and there's a, like a willow tree and shit. Um, there's a, a chemical, or I mean, it's like a natural acid that's in it that, um, um, it's like the same thing that's in aspirin. I can't remember what the fuck it's called. But, um, I do have a basic understanding of, of, um, first aid. I mean, I'm not bringing anybody with me. Um, honestly, I don't think any of my friends would even want to. Only one would probably be DJ, and I don't even think he would want to. He's always so busy anyway. So, I'll probably just do it by myself. So, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with myself. Um, it's gonna be boring as fuck, probably. But, um, 
I don't know. I'm definitely gonna document some of it and put it on YouTube. I'm, you know, show. I'm probably gonna document like me making my shelter and um, little vlogs. You know, every so often to let you guys know how I'm doing. I won't be able to upload any of it obviously until I get back. Because I mean, I'm gonna be in the middle of the fucking woods. There's no Wi-Fi. Um, I sound like a fucking yuppie. I'm not though. I promise. Um. Is it just me or does anyone else think Linkin Park's new? This is a that was an old song, but their new music kind of isn't good. I I grew up listening to Linkin Park, like their old shit's really good, but I just don't like their new music. I, I just don't. Man, I was getting ready to type something in. What the fuck was it? I wanted to listen to something. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? What? Oh, that's what it was. Reincarnate by Motionless and White. I love this song. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see how that goes, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to psych myself up for it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, being alone in the woods, like by myself, in the middle of the fucking night with all them strange noises, I'm man enough to admit that's probably gonna freak me out a little bit, especially because I'm by myself. Um. But, I mean, I see all these other fucking people doing it, so, I mean, I know I can do it. I mean, I'm not a pussy, so I, I think I can handle it. Um, it gets, right now, I mean, it's technically springtime, but for some reason it's, like, still fucking cold as shit outside. So, um, I'm gonna have to probably keep a fire going every night to keep myself warm. I'm not really worried about finding firewood, because, I mean, I'm in the woods. Um, I know what kind of wood to burn. Um... You know, I, I've got this to split the firewood, which is actually, you know what, it's actually easier than you would think. Um, I never even knew what batoning was until I looked it up, because I heard somebody talking about it. Um, when I was looking up survival vibes on the internet on YouTube, and I was like, what the fuck is batoning? Because he was like, this, he, it wasn't this knife, but he was talking about another knife, and he was like, it works for batoning really well, and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? So I, I looked it up, and I found out what it did, and what it is, and I tried it, and I'm like, shit, it actually works. Um, I mean, it's a little harder than it looks, but I mean, I'm good with an axe, I will say that. I've been chopping firewood for fucking years, I, it's a great way to take out aggression. Um, let's just take a big fucking axe and chop wood and shit, that's, that's actually a lot of fun. I'm not bringing an axe with me, because, um, I don't know, I just, I got an, I, I'm just bringing a knife. Some food, water, first aid kit, shelter. Um, that's about it. And then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to charge my phone, so I'm gonna have to use that lightly. Um, that way my phone doesn't die, because I don't want to have to go back to the freaking house, because you know that that's just defeating the purpose. So I don't know, this is gonna be fun. Um, let me you know let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm fucking crazy, if you think it's a good idea. It's, um looking forward to documenting it. I'm gonna be using an actual camera instead of my cell phone. Um to conserve battery for one on my phone and two because the camera we have is like pretty decent resolution. Um it takes pretty good pictures and video. So I'll take some stills and I'll do that, some natural videos of the wilderness. I mean, it's not really the wilderness. I mean, it's kind of fucking like it's in my backyard. But I mean, I'm gonna be going probably a good half to a mile into the woods. Um, and the cool thing about our woods, they go downhill, like literally. Um, for the most part, it goes downhill flat and it goes uphill. And there's a field and then woods on the other side. So basically, um. If I was at night and I was like I had to get home or something, if I got lost, I would know to go uphill because I'll either end up in the field or I'll end up in my subdivision. So I actually the very first time I got I went in my woods. I was ten years old. I was with my grandma and my cousin. We got lost. We were in the, we were walking around the woods. We got fucking lost. Um, we ended up and we didn't even know we were in the same subdivision, but we like ended up on the street and it was in our subdivision. I just didn't know it because I'd only lived here for like a week and. Uh, so like, where the fuck are we? And we asked, uh, we well, there was a neighbor outside cutting grass. Um, we asked them. You're like, do you know where Shannon, uh, my neighborhood is? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not. Um, and they're like, you're in that neighborhood. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah. And then I asked him where the street was. And he goes, just go up that hill, make a left. I was like, oh. 
So, yeah, I got lost, like, the first time I went in my woods, but it wasn't that big a deal. We found our way out in, like, 15 minutes. Um, but I'm not really too worried about getting lost, because, like, like I said, I've been, I've been in these woods so many times. Like, tons and tons and tons and tons of time at times. So, I'm, I'm not... I'm really not worried about getting lost. I mean, there's coyotes and, like, probably bobcats, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that either. Um, I've been in the woods at night before. Um, never, I mean, I have camped before, but it's like kid, like little kids camping, like you go in the backyard with a tent. I mean, I did that a few times. I remember the very first time me and my friends camped, we were like seven or eight years old. Um, this was when I lived in a different house. We went into the backyard, set up a tent, and we got freaked out in the middle of the night. We're like, fuck this, and we went inside. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and like we went inside, and we were all like, watched the TV, like freaked out. It was funny, because I mean, it was in town. Um, tons of houses, and we, for some reason we got freaked out. I don't remember why, but that was years ago. That was like 2002. So, we were pretty young. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be doing that over the next couple days. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Don't really need to hold a knife in the whole video. But, uh, uh but yeah, look forward to that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It'll, it'll be an experience for sure. So, hopefully I don't die. Um... You know, hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm not really, you know, too terribly worried about anything happening. I'm actually looking forward to it. I've been wanting to do it. Like, the last you know, two weeks, I've been wanting to do it. And I've been looking up stuff on how to survive in the woods and stuff. So, I'm pretty new to this. I'm kind of an amateur. But, ow. I might bring a couple sodas with me, but I'm mostly bringing water. I don't want something that's going to dehydrate me. Um, although, I mean, it gets really cold at night, um, it gets to a decent temperature in the day, it gets to, like, the late 50s, early, uh, early 60s, or high 50s, low 60s, I don't know why I said late, but anyway, yeah, so the nights, like, tonight it's gonna get down to, like, 40 degrees, so, yeah, if it gets that cold, I'm, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna also buy, a, uh, one of them, what do you call it? It's a, it's a blanket. It's like a reflective blanket. I can't think of what it's called. It's You guys are going to think I'm an idiot for not knowing it. But anyway, I'm going to buy one of those. Um, I know a place by our house that I can get all this shit for a decent price. Um, I would order it on, on online, but I'm not going to because I want to get it like tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm going to end this video. It's 18 minutes. You're a trooper if you stuck in this long because I know this is boring as fuck probably. But yeah, once again, tell me what you guys think, and holla back. Alright, sorry for that. <laughs> Peace.